the chime of a coffee shop door, a familiar aroma of freshly ground coffee beans. It was here that two women, inseparable once, had spent countless afternoons. These were the days of laughter that punctuated the air and secrets shared over steaming cups of latte, days where time seemed to stand still in their cosy corner of the world. Their friendship was as warm and comforting as the coffee they sipped, a bubble of camaraderie in a world that often felt too vast and too fast. As the years rolled on, their lives took different paths. One woman found herself navigating the tumultuous waves of divorce, a journey that was as bitter as it was liberating. The upheaval of her life, like a stone thrown into a serene pond, sent ripples through their friendship, causing a pause, a hiatus. The coffee shop meetings became less frequent, their shared laughter a memory fading into soft echoes. Yet life has a peculiar way of circling back, of reuniting paths that once diverged. And so, after a hiatus of five long years, the two women found themselves back in the coffee shop, their past lingering in the air, their shared memories folded into the atmosphere. Those years, those shared moments, they lingered in the air, tangible yet elusive, as the women found themselves back in their old haunt. A flutter of anticipation, a quickened heartbeat, the door chimed again, and there she was, her friend, standing in the doorway. As the aroma of freshly brewed coffee swirled around them, a symphony of shared laughter and whispered confidences began to play. The women dived into the ocean of lost years, swimming through the currents of their children's milestones, their achievements, their dreams, their laughter, the joy of reunion, the shared memories, and the updates on their children's lives created a warmth that filled the room, a warmth that felt like home. In the midst of their camaraderie, the story of the divorced friend began to unfold. Once a high-powered executive, she was now the architect of her own life. The transition had been challenging, but it was a journey she chose and embraced with open arms. She had traded boardrooms for open spaces, deadlines for sunsets and power suits for comfort clothes. Her life was now dictated not by corporate demands, but by her own desires, her own rhythm. She was living a life she relished, a life that brought her joy and peace. And as they sipped their coffees, it was clear that their bond had withstood time and tribulations, only to grow stronger. The coffee cups were empty now, the afternoon was fading, but the warmth of their friendship was more palpable than ever. As they stood to leave, the cafe around them seemed to hum with a comforting familiarity, a silent witness to their shared stories and laughter. The air was tinged with the sweetness of their reunion, a testament to the timeless bond they shared. The woman who had journeyed through divorce, once weighed down by the pressures of her corporate job, now stood tall, her spirit brighter and stronger than ever. She had weathered the storm, braved the tumultuous seas, and emerged on the other side, transformed. Her resilience was a beacon of hope, a lighthouse guiding her friend through her own uncertainties, her story was not one of loss, but of discovery. She had found a new rhythm in life, one that danced to the tune of her own aspirations. She had embraced the solitude, found strength in her independence, and in the process unearthed a version of herself she had never known existed. The woman she had become was an inspiration, her journey a testament to the endless possibilities that lay on the other side of change. Her friend listened, her eyes gleaming with admiration and a hint of envy. She saw in her a reflection of the woman she aspired to be, strong and unapologetically herself. She absorbed her words, drawing strength from her story, painting a vivid picture of what her own journey could look like. Their bond was rooted in a shared past, but it was the individual journeys they had embarked on that fortified their friendship. They were not just friends, but mirrors reflecting back to each other the strength they often overlooked in themselves. And as they bid their goodbyes, they knew they were parting only to meet again, their friendship a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, ever hopeful, ever enduring.